Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription this amazing and wonderful morning. I believe that you are in, in sound mind, in good health this morning, and I believe the Lord has given us a remarkable opportunity to hear His voice and His blessing for us this morning. I'm excited as always as a child of God and a servant of God to take responsibility for the ministry that God has given to me to speak to us this morning. I want us to pray and then we'll be blessed by the word. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you glory, honor, praise and adoration. Thank you, Father, for this great time and opportunity you have given to us. Lord, we submit under your feet. We submit under your anointing that, Father, you're going to cause a new dimension of our lives this morning by speaking to us and blessing our lives, O oh God. Open the eyes of our inner understanding and our ears that we can be able to be receptive to what you're speaking to us this morning for the glory of your name. Father, we thank you for everybody who shall come across this message. Continue to speak to us. Continue to be a blessing to us by your grace and your mercy. This we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. This morning, I would like to speak about a subject, dream your dream, dream your dream. I want us to turn to our Bibles and I read from the book of Habakkuk chapter number two. I'm going to read from verse number one from the Good News Translation. Habakkuk chapter number two. I'm going to read from verse number one uh, from the Good News Translation. I'm going to read, I think, three verses there. I will climb my watchtower and wait to see what the Lord will tell me to say and what answer he will give to my complaint. The Lord gave me this answer. Write down clearly on tablets what I reveal to you so that it can be read at a glance. Put it in writing because it is not yet for the time to come true. But the time is quickly coming and what I show you will come true. It may seem slow in coming, but wait for it. It will certainly take place and it will not be delayed. Praise the name of the Lord. Other, other versions say what I speak to you clearly. They interpret that as a vision. And I want to delve into it by talking about a dream. Now, a dream from God concerning your life is a future revelation of your life. There are ways that God speaks to us. God would speak to us through the word. God would send people to speak into our lives. Or sometimes God speaks to us through dreams and visions. When Peter was being sent to the house of Cornelius, uh, the Bible tells us that God spoke to him in a trance. When the people of Macedonia were asking Paul to go and preach to them, God spoke to Paul through a dream. And so dreams are very, very important in the lives of people. When you talk about Joseph and how he rose to stardom and became the prime minister, it is because he had the ability under God to interpret dreams. But the dreams I want to talk about this morning, rather vision, is what you feel in your heart God ministering to you to do for the future. Now, whether it is ministry, whether it is family, whether it's building a house, whether it is, you know, doing things in your life, there are those things you internalize and meditate and ponder about for a period before you implement. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, Paul, God tells Abacook, the Lord gave me the answer. Of course, Abacook had some complaint. He sought the answer from God. Then God told him, write down on tablets what I reveal to you so it can be read at a glance. Now, listen. These are steps to work realizing you are coming to your purpose and dream. There are ways you deal with issues of your life and you are able to move in the way that God so much desires about your life. All right? This is very, very key and very, very important. Now, when one of the mistakes that people do in this life is because even when God has spoken to you, you don't record it. You don't put it down. You, and in fact, you don't need to put it in many words. No. Bible tells us that Habakkuk was told, write 
what the answer I've given you, write it clearly with a review, and so it can be read at a glance. In other words, write it down, not in many words, put a summary of what I have spoken to you. Now, let me ask you a very simple question. Now, have you ever put in place, put in writing, everything that God has ever spoken to you about? Have you written it down? Have you spoken about it? Have you recorded it somewhere? Now, human beings have a tendency to forget even some deep, important things people can forget. So, Abok was told to put it down and make it very, very clearly read at a glance. So, putting a record and making it in a summary state, that when you just look at it, you're able to interpret what it is that God said he would do in your life. Then he goes to say, because it's not for because not because it is not yet time for it to come true. Why do you record it? Because some things God speaks to us, He is not gonna do it now. He's not gonna do it immediately, but it's for a time to come. But he says you have to exercise patience because though it tarries, it will surely come to pass. Now, somebody told me some years back. When you begin to admire a building, you say that house is good, that house has been painted nice, then you nicely, then you need to know that you're just about to build a house. If the thought of building the house has not come to you, I can tell you without any shadow of contradiction that you will not be able to build. So that thought, that meditation, that dream, that vision, you must begin to work on it because you are sure. You might not even have the money or you might not even have the funding or even the land. But the moment you begin to admire nicely built houses, I can tell you, you are on the right path. Hallelujah. And so he says, though it might tarry, it will surely come to pass. Wait for it because it will certainly take place and it will not be delayed. There's something we call the timing of God. God never loses time. God does not delay. God does not delay. Everything God does, he does it in time. So even that dream that you have, that desire you have in your life, because God has put it there, he will do it at the right time. Now, some preacher of God spoke the other day and said, you know, it's good for us to exercise patience. He talked about the tortoise and the cheetah. Of course, the tortoise is, 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 is a slow mover. But the cheetah, apparently the fastest animal. But you see, with the slowness of the tortoise, it is protected. It has a shield. All right? It has got a shell covering it. So you have to understand that God has a way of doing things. And when we internalize and interpret how God works, then we are really going to move in the speed and in the direction of God. I came therefore to speak to you this morning, dream your dream. Dream your dream. This is my prayer. This is my desire in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Lord, we bless you and we thank you this morning. We honor you. We give you glory, honor, power, authority, and adoration. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your care. Help us, Lord, as we dream our dreams that we shall be able to uh, write it down, make it clear, and wait for it to come at the appropriate time. I thank you, Father, and I bless you this morning for everybody. There are those people who have been victimized wrongly. Lord, this morning, as they go back to be listened to, I pray they will find favor in those that are making determinations upon their lives, and I pray that they will be restored to their work. Thank you, Lord, for the two men that Lord met uh, Joseph in the prison and Joseph carefully interpreted that one of them will be taken back to his seat or to his office. I pray this morning for all these individuals this morning as they face or encounter those that are going to listen to them, may they find favor, favor before you and favor before men, that God, their lives will be touched. And Lord, when you restore them, let them have a new dimension of life in the name of Jesus Christ. They shall be more diligent and that God you bless their lives more than ever for the glory of your name. I want to thank you for those who might be suffering in sickness and disease. 
Father, this morning I speak healing in their lives in Jesus' name. Father, this morning I also pray, O oh God, that there are many challenges ahead of people. There are many fears that people have. I pray this morning in Jesus' name that you will go ahead of each and every person, answer each and every fear, and deal, Lord, with issues that affect their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Because when you are with you, Lord, we are protected and we are secure. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray this morning that your grace, your favor will be sufficient in our lives for the glory and honor of your name. I therefore want to lift you this morning and bless you. This we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. May the good Lord bless you, the good Lord be with you. This has been your host, Pastor Johnstone Sakwa, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The good Lord bless you and be with you. Amen and amen.